Today we're going to do another exercise using PHP code, and I thought for this episode we would try to build some text inside the browser which tells us what day of the week it is, and if it's a work day or weekend. Now, I know that that might not seem very complicated, and it really isn't, but we will actually be talking about how to write HTML code inside PHP code, which is something that you're going to be using a lot in the future, meaning that this episode will actually be quite worth a lot to you if you don't know how to do this yet. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it here. As you guys can see, I do actually have my index file here. I have a basic, you know, startup HTML code, which simply says that we, you know, we're going to write an HTML5 front page. And we're just going to go ahead and start writing stuff into the body here. Now, inside the body, we're going to go ahead and open up our PHP code with PHP tags. And in between here, we're going to go ahead and create a variable. Now you guys can call whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and call this one day of week. And I'm going to go ahead and set it equal to a function called date. Now date is a function that's inside PHP already. We didn't actually create this. It's already existing. And there's a lot of different parameters we can put inside the date. Uh, parentheses and I do actually have a link for you guys to actually take a look at which is inside w3schools.com this website by the way is really awesome for looking up stuff so I can really recommend you guys to go in here if you don't know how to do something and learn about it so in here we do actually have a description of all the different parameters we can put inside you know this function which will actually tell us specific information about the date we have today so right now we can actually go in and see one called W, lowercase w, I should mention, because there's a difference if you use lowercase letters or uppercase letters. Now the lowercase w will actually tell us a numeric representation of the day, zero being Sunday and then six being Saturday, meaning that one is gonna be Monday, then it's gonna count up till six and then say zero, which is Sunday. So if we use w inside our date function, and it does actually say at the very top of this page. I will include a link to this page if you guys want to look at it inside the description of the video. So don't worry about having to Googling for this. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and say, okay, we want to use the W, you know, parameter inside our function. So we're going to go into our code and inside the date, we're going to include double quotes or single quotes, depending on what you want to use. And in here, we're going to say W. Now, if we go ahead and just echo this out, just to see what we actually get from this, going to echo out day of week refresh my browser you guys will notice we get five now right here where I'm sitting at this very moment as I'm creating this tutorial it's actually Friday which is five because Saturday is six and then Sunday is going to be zero and then Monday is going to be one again so because it says five we know that it's Saturday no sorry uh, Friday I'm mixing up the dates now um, but it's Friday today, which is equal to five. So we can actually go back into our code and we can actually start writing a switch. Now I'm going to go ahead and write a switch here. And you guys should know how to do that by now. So I'm not going to explain too much about it other than we're just going to start it up here. Now the data that we're looking for, you know, that we're actually checking for is going to be inside the parentheses, which is, you know, the variable we created called day of week. Inside the switch, we're going to go ahead and start creating creating our cases. So case number one is going to, going to be, okay, so if day of week is equal to one, then do this. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, if, if it's equal to one, we want to echo that it is Monday because it is if it's one, but it's not today. So we do actually need to create another case. I'm just gonna go ahead and include my break here really quickly. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy this case underneath here. Whoops, let's actually go ahead and do that properly. There we go. Like so, like so, like so. Let's see how many do we have so far. We do actually need seven because there's seven days in a week. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we just need to change the numbers. Remember, when we get to Sunday, we need to change it to a zero. So we're just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, and zero. So we're just going to go ahead and change the, the text in here as well. So we're going to say Tuesday. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and of course, Sunday. So now, if we actually go ahead and save this, we can actually go ahead and go back to our browser, refresh, and you guys will see it says it is Friday, which it may or may not be in your case, but at least for me, it is Friday. So now we have the text going on, but what if we want to include some styling to this or include some you know, uh, HTML tags to it? Now, in order to do that, well, first of all, let's actually go ahead and create some styling. I do actually have some styling in here inside my style sheet. And if you guys don't have a style sheet yet, I did actually include one into my document here. So you guys should just go ahead and create some styling inside a style sheet. And you guys can copy or just write your own styling depending on what you wanna do. I simply style a paragraph tag in here um, where I just simply you know, aligned it to the center. Font size is a lot. I changed the font family to Arial and I set a margin to the top, 38 V8, which is view height. Now, going back to our code inside our index file, we can actually go down to, for example, our Monday. Actually, let's actually take Friday because that's the day we're on right now. And inside the double quotes, and do bear in mind, every time you want to write HTML code inside PHP code, you have to write it inside quotes. So I can actually start writing tags in here. For example, a P tag if I want to. I can also end my P tag, which we should probably do after it is Friday. And we do actually already have styling for the paragraph in here. We could also add classes to this if you wanted to. But essentially, if you want to create HTML code inside PHP code, you just need to echo it out or print it or whatever you want to do and make sure it's inside parentheses. So you need to treat it like it's a string, which is very easy to remember. So we just have a paragraph here. If I actually go refresh the browser, you guys will see that we suddenly get a lot of text going on here. I can actually zoom out a bit where it says it is Friday. So we could actually do a bunch of stuff here. We could actually start adding maybe a video that covers the entire background that has, you know, happy, you know, happy themed stuff because it's Friday, which means that it's weekend soon. Um, or like really sad videos going on in the background if it's Monday, because we don't like Mondays. So this is essentially how we do this sort of thing. This is how we write HTML code. And yes, you can write whatever HTML code you write, uh, you wanna write inside, you know, PHP text like this, if you echo it out. So that's basically how we do that. Um, I don't think I had anything else for this episode. So that's basically what I wanna teach you guys in this episode. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it off here and I'll see you guys next episode.